the way in which we calculate the value of a transmission is to make sure that first of all we're all working in the same units. Now we've got here in the first example a 600 megabyte video file and a 100 megabit connection. So the way we work this out is the first thing to do would be to work out what 100 megabits is in megabytes and we do that by dividing by 8 because there are 8 bits in a byte. And so that calculation looks like 600 divided by, on first calculation, 100 divided by 8. And that gives us the answer of 48 seconds. A 600 megabyte video file using a 100 megabit connection would take 48 seconds to transmit. A 20 megabyte audio file taking the same connection is the same calculation but with 20 this time. We end up with 1.6 seconds. The reality is that would take 2 seconds because data will take the same amount to transmit down there, we don't get partial seconds for the transmission system to work, but 1.6 seconds would be your answer there. The last one requires a bit more thinking about because not only are they in different units, they're in different orders of magnitude. So the easiest thing to do is write this out in terms of bytes. So a 4 kilobyte means 4,000 bytes, and a 1 megabit is 1 million bits. So 4,000 divided by a million divided by 8 to find out what a million bits is in bytes, and that gives us 0.032 seconds. Now again, we know from bandwidth that that would actually be one second because it would take one second to transmit any data across that bandwidth that is smaller than the amount of data that can be sent per second. Bit rates. Video conferencing is a high bit rate activity. We need to send a lot of data in a small amount of time. Sending a text message, an SMS message, which is just text, it's, it's 100 and something characters, it's gonna be low bit rates. And listening to stream and audio is a bit of a difficult one. We would classify that as a high bitrate activity because a lot of data needs to come down this down because a lot of data needs to come downstream. However, in the modern world, we would sort of ideally quantify that as a medium bitrate activity because most broadband connections have a far higher bandwidth than is necessary to do that. It's a simple routing cost activity, looking and identifying the cost from node A to each of the other nodes. A gets a cost of zero because it doesn't cost anything to get to itself. B then, the shortest is by going through node C, which gives us a cost of four. C, directly from, from node A, gives us a cost of two. And D, going via, root, going via node B, gives the total cost of six.